Hi there, and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies, the only series we will show you everything you need to know for your Dark Souls 3 journey. Okay, well, you just made it past the Crucifixion Woods, and now you're on to the Crystal Sage. Okay, so the things you're going to want to bring into this fight is your straight sword, and also some charcoal pine resin and some charcoal pine bundles. Also, the fire clutchering is nice um, if you have it. Because that will increase the damage dealt by your pine bundles and resin. Okay, so just go ahead and walk into the fight and apply the resin. And you're just going to want to kite around his first attack and smack him around a couple times. Also, when he puts out the uh, balls around his head, the homing crystal soul mass, as long as he has one over his head, he will not teleport. So if you hug his shoulder, it will stay on him for a longer amount of time. Okay, so now you can always tell where he's gonna be because um, he's not gonna be where his crystals are, so directly opposite of the crystals. Okay, so once you get him down to half health, it will go into second phase where a whole bunch of blue crystal sages will pop up. And so these guys do the same amount of damage as the normal Crystal Sage, but they die in one hit, and they do not take away from the normal Crystal Sage's health bar. So I'd recommend going and killing those ones first, and then you can run on in, get a couple smacks on the Crystal Sage, he'll go back underground because he's annoying, and then you can repeat that process over again. Also, you, it is a great time to apply the resin while the crystals are up because that will just give you a couple extra seconds to heal and this is a very good time to get your extra stuff done before you take off the sage again. So now you can just run on over to the purple one when he has just a little bit of health left, get in two or three smacks, and you are good to go. Okay, now that you know how to do the Crystal Sage using a knight, we're going to show you how to beat him sorcery style. Okay, so the spells you're going to want to use is the Pestilent Mist spell and also a Great Farin Dart. So, let's just go ahead and go in there. So, first you're going to run up to him and avoid his first attack and then try and get as close as possible to him before using your first thing of Pestilent Mist. And so you're going to want to do one of these, evade an attack, and then repeat that process until you get to his second phase. Also, if you feel like you have enough health, you can run into the Pestilent Mist and get a couple of hits in with your sword. But while you're in the mist, it does also drain your health, so just use it when you really feel like you're good to go and have enough health. Okay, so I think I probably have enough health, so I'm going to get a couple swings in to get him to second phase. There we go. Go ahead and heal. Use an Ashen to get your uh, FP back and switch to the Farin Dart. So you're gonna be using these to take out the blue clones of him once he goes second phase, which should be right about now. Yep, there we go. So go ahead and just lock on, shoot off a Farin Dart, and you only need one Farin Dart per Sage to kill it, so that's very nice. Okay, now go ahead and run back to the main one and just use the same method you used for phase one. Also being mindful of the melee attack as before. Then just continue this process and he will be dead in no time. Okay, feel like I probably have enough health going right now, so I can just run in there and finish him off with the sword. And that is how you beat the Crystal Sage Sorcery Style. 
If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics. If you or a loved one have been injured or have died after exposure to pestilent mist, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Again, if you or a loved one have been injured or have died after exposure to pestilent mist, please call the number on your screen right away. That's 1-800-223-6478. Again, that's 1-800-BAD-MIST. Please call now. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to smack that big button in the middle to subscribe to our channel. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead and click on one of the videos surrounding our screen and see if you like those ones better. Well, this has been Back to the Basics Gaming, and have a great day.